Beat the heat special. Ice cream cones, only 25 cents. One super duper cool cone, Bob. Man, I gotta get out of this heat before I melt. Hey, Wally's Market, cool inside. Hatcha! <laughs> it's a hot bun for sure, but my cool specials will bring in the cool cash, you bet. Say, where's the coolest spot in your market? The cool is for paying customers. Are you buying something, maybe? Listen, buddy, I gotta cool off before I can think about shopping. The heat out there almost melted my beak. Go cool someplace else. Nobody owns cool air. Mommy, let's hurry. I want a popsicle. Oh, welcome back to Wally's Market, Mrs. Fanny Winkle. I'm always happy to see my best customer. Yeah. yeah. Ah, cool at last. <laughs> Time for the daily produce inspection. Good coloring, yeah. Firm, very nice rind. Ah, fresh. Mmm, fresher. Mm. Say, uh, buddy, that's my melon. <laughs> there are you, you freeloading woodpecker. You're not going to use my cool air without paying for something. Psst. Try the melon on the bottom row. Wait a minute. Use it, you woodpecker! <laughs> you can't hide from me, woodpecker. Mr. Walrus. Ah, Dave, he fresh. Why, you bet. It's the freshest woodpecker I will ever sell, yeah. I'll take it. Oh, man! to you by giving 10% off all your purchases. 20%! Mesos Fanny Winkle! Wait! Oh, my! <laughs> you want cool, Woodpecker? I give you the cool! <laughs> Oh, me 
Mr. Sannywinkle, wait, wait! Mr. Sannywinkle. Mrs. Fanny Winkle, as my most valued customer, please accept this rare, one-of-a-kind frozen woodsicle as a gift for your son. Wowie can zowie! A woodsicle! Oh, well. <laughs> if Francis is happy, all right. You're forgiven, Mr. Walrus. <laughs> <laughs> As a wildlife ranger, I'm sworn to protect all in dangerous critters in these here harsh weather conditions. That means making sure the rare albino polar bear who lives in this here cave has food to eat all winter long, a nice warm place to make nappy time, and some entertainment appliances for his personal enjoyment. <sighs> now to get myself acquainted with the big fella. Huh? Now, just what the heck's going on hereabouts? Well, well, what have we here? Why, you're just a normal, everyday penguin. And this here stuff is for endangered critters like the albino polar bear. So get! That big fella'll sleep like a baby cub on this here posterior pedic. You gotta be real careful with these ornery bear types. They can be mighty standoffish if and you don't make a good first impression. Say! Now you listen here, little fella. This bed is designed for the slumbering of one albino polar bear. Now come back here and... Hello there, mister. <laughs> well, my first encounter with the big fella didn't go so swell, but food is real hard to come by out here, and I'm sure this here Philette Mignon will warm him up to me. <laughs> Mr. Bear, got you some delectables. <laughs> I'll stay 20 paces away from the critter to show him that I am in no way his predator. This here penguin is really starting to crush my eyes. <laughs> sure is a heavy little fella. <laughs> Y'all might want to avert your eyes. This is gonna hurt a bit, I reckon. Black 
like it says in the Ranger Handbook, when in pain, always revert to the standard operating declaration. Ouch! <laughs> Stay out of my preserve, little fella. I'm as sure as snow on Christmas that this big screen TV will win back <laughs> that fella's affections. I'll just put the set on mute and program all the educational-like channels for this big fella's edification. <laughs> hmm, looks like my first aid training's gonna come in mighty handy in a few seconds. <laughs> You are banished from these here parts until such time as you are in dangerous, rare, or unique, which will be never. I am officially pronouncing this banished penguin territory, so you stay put. Well, hi and howdy there, little purple penguin. Don't see much of your kind around these parts. Wait a minute. You know, I'm not as dumb as he looks. <laughs> there ain't no such thing as a purple penguin, Mr. Purple Penguin. Impersonating an endangerous type critter is a serious offense against nature. You know what? That's not a half bad look for you, Mr. Bear. <laughs> It is the ultra rare tropical penguin and the tropical polar bear. What a find! Now, just a credit catching minute here, short stuff. These creatures are in my charge, and I. For shame! A member of the ranger service chasing such endangered creatures? No, 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 no. These little ones deserve better. They deserve the tropical four star treatment. And you, my Arctic Ranger friend, will be sweeping out the tropical preserve paradise when I report you to headquarters! Whew. It sure is hot working here in this tropical nature preserve. <laughs> oh well, at least it's a dry heat. this here establishment. Ribbit. Ribbit, now, if you want them eggs, you skedaddle into the barn here. You can have all the eggs you can carry. Yes, Ree. <laughs> most likely to be scrambled. Door. 
See how you been. Hey there, Feather Pie. I'm Booster, the giant rooster. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm just an old country rooster. Looking for a nest to share with a champion egg layer like you, my little chickadee. How's about sweets for a sweetie? <gasps> Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. One custom-made nest cozy to keep those little champs' ears warm, mama. No. Now come on out of here so as I can meet you beak to beak. No. 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 Gotcha! <laughs> Time to get her where it hurts. Oh, the fair's coming early this year, so I've come to pick out your best egg for entry and competition. We got a lot of big eggs this year. Don't know if yours are gonna qualify. <laughs> hmm, maybe. Possibly, yeah, if you're lucky. Could be. Mm, I'll have to take these for an official review. If you don't hear from us, it's because there were bigger, better eggs out there. Sweat the smaller stuff. When it comes to breakfast, bigger is always better. Oh. oh boy, in all the years me and Mort been doing this, you're the first one to get an egg. And that's some egg. What's the secret? Sometimes you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet. <laughs> so what say maybe you'd like a chance at the free side of bacon? Hmm, bacon. Ah! I'll just take my egg and scramble. Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Stay tuned 
for the Mr. Alias Action Hour. Today's adventure, the attack of... No! Not the antenna again! Uh, where am I gonna get a new antenna before my show starts? <laughs> I love the sound of a sucker in the morning. Buzz Buzzard Super Duper Deluxe Satellite Dish. And now for the Coupe de Grasse. Oh, when you're good, you're me. Good day, sir. I am Buzz Buzzard of Buzz's Satellite TV Service. Wow! That's right, sucker. Or I uh, mean, sir. Our rooftop dish here is powered by uh, 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 a solar plutonium reactor. <laughs> oh, he is good. So it gets 1138 channels, downloads video games, does your dishes, files your taxes, uh, takes out the trash and raises your children. All for the low, low price of just 50 bucks. Will it get me the Mr. Alias Action Hour right now? Oh, indubitably. Then you gotta deal. Jolt gave us both superpowers. And mine are gonna make me rich. Rich, rich. Stop, thief! Ah! Ah! Police! Time to make like a banana and split. <laughs> yeah! This is not my day. <laughs> so, you want to play rough, huh? <laughs> Super Woody, with feathers of fury. And now, mister, there's the man Oh, yeah? Well, there's also the matter of... I ain't giving it to you. <laughs> Freaky feet, do your stuff. Huh? So long, bouncing boy. Get back here! <laughs> Beating bullet train full of dough. <laughs> it's Super Buzzard! Coming to rob a town near you. <laughs> Super Woody gets his tough in gear! Ew! You owe me 50 bucks! Yeah? Take this for an IOU, Woodpecker! I'll take whatever you got, Bob! <laughs> Didn't 
anyone ever tell you not to recycle your woodpecker until it's finished? And I'm not finished. No! Wait! Wait! You can have your dough! Thank you very much. Now I'll buy a new antenna. Brand new and ready to go. Yeah! Hey, what gives? Oh, man! I lost my superpowers! Ah, what are you gonna do? Guess I'll just have to change channels the old-fashioned way. Nah. We apologize for going off the air due to a strange electrical interference. However, we'll now pick up the Mr. Alias Adventure Hour from the very beginning with no further interruptions. <laughs> Let's see. I want a job someplace fun with good things to eat and nice people to work with. Daddy, Daddy, make the lizard talk. Howdy, partner. Welcome to Gecko Pacheco's Tex Mex Restaurant. <laughs> Cool! I like the tongue part. Help wanted. Hmm. This seems like a fun place to work. You, you want a job? I, uh... Ever been a car hop? No. Know how to skate? Not really. Close enough, you're hired. Meanie, we've been getting swamped every night at Dinner Rush. I'm putting you in charge of training, uh... Winnie Woodpecker. Gotta run, I got a truck of lard waiting on the dock. Hi, welcome to Gecko Pacheco's. Why, thank you. Let's get one thing straight, Missy. I've been the car hop here for 22 years. You're not just gonna sweep in here and take over my territory. Now, let's roll! <laughs> Newbies, huh? Hmm, skinny skates. <laughs> They'll get you every time. Hey, woodpecker wheels, move it or lose it! <laughs> Can't make it too easy for her around here. She might like it and want to stay. <laughs> Nothing like a big tray to weigh you down, I always say. a pronto delivery to car 27. Senior Ocho's a regular customer, so don't screw up. Don't just stand there. You're a meal on wheels. Yes, <laughs> I showed that gal a thing or... Food for regular price. Triple your order at Gecko Pacheco's today only. This'll get rid of that woodpecker once and for all. Come on, where's my order? I've been waiting longer than Excuse me, I was here first. It's triple your order hour, meaning triple the work for you, woodpecker. Um, isn't someone else who works here going to help with this rush? Um, no! Ah, that's a good one. No! Ah. <sighs> She's a fruitcake on skates. Hey! I can handle my job and hers. Car number seven, car number eight, car number nine, car number ten. So, then I said to her, no! Get it? No! <laughs> I'm done, I'll take my break now. <laughs> Does it? There's only one way to get rid of Miss Wheelie T. 
two shoes. Detour, keep it moving. Find an empty stall anywhere. Have fun. Oh, Winnie, the dinner rush is here, and they all seem to be on your side. Come on, I was here first. Is someone going to take oh. my order? 15, 76, 42. They were spread all over. Calm down! Don't get your shorts in a bunch. Everyone will be served in the order they arrived. Somehow. Meanie, you've got a tag team with me. These orders are all over the parking lot. Oh, if you can't handle it, quit! This is how you want to play it? Fine by me. What's that crazy woodpecker doing now? Ha! What did that accomplish? Watch and learn. kinds of maneuvers before. She'll win over all my best customers. She'll be here forever. <laughs> Unless... <laughs> Adios, woodpecker! <laughs> Woodpecker, turn in your skates! I'm the best there is! I am! You'll never be as good a car hop as me! Uh-oh. Meanie! Why, how oh, What's going on here? Um, she's insane. Me! She's the one! Little miss, look at me skate! Oh! I'm a little car hot, short, and sweet. Stop! Meanie, your behavior. I have no choice but to fire you. No, no, please, boss. Please let me stay. Please, I'll do and hate the hang. Um, sir. Why, even though nothing will ever replace my statue, if she'll agree, it's a great idea, Winnie. Daddy, make it talk! Howdy, partner. Welcome to Gecko Pacheco's Tex-Mex restaurant. Man, that's lame. It's three for Thursday. Three meals for the price of one. All right. Keep up the good work, Meanie. Ha! <laughs> I gotta get another job. <laughs> A sport nut paradise. <laughs> the crowd goes wild. Woody, Woody, Woody. Huh? Hey, what's the big idea? My dear chap, I was merely admiring your uh, sporting prowess. Yeah? Well, admire it with your hands to yourself, bub. I have a proposition. If you would be so kind as to help my young uh, ward acquire some degree of sporting skill, I would gladly purchase everything you see in this store as payment for your coaching services. Everything in the store for free? Bring on the kid! Hello! <laughs> I come to play with you! Hunter? I learn sport. I wear shorts. I won't play with fox, cause I get the ball. Yeah. Oh, Woody, where are you? I better get a lot of gear, bub. Oh. Looky here. Practice makes perfect. Put everything in the net. Okay, Woody. Everything in the net. <laughs> Better 
how to keep all Gunther busy till playoff season. <sighs> Time to catch a few Z's and dream of all my free sporting equipment. <sighs> Kid, you'll be a natural at track and field. Astounding job, Woody. You've made Gunter a champion in just one day. <sighs> hmm. Wonder which sport would be less strenuous. An easy game of croquet or a lazy game of badminton? Coach Woody! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Is this the super coach who will teach me to play as good as you, Gunter? Ah, bah, Gunter, you don't need me. You're good enough to be a coach now. Oh, happy, 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 happy day! <laughs> oh, this is fun. Now what? Now we jump and jump and jump! <laughs> I'm a bunny! I'm a bunny! I'm a bunny! Ah, like the old saying goes, it doesn't matter if you win or lose, it's how you keep old Gunther busy playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away. 
I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> People move it. We're live in five. Mm. Say, Bob, what's cooking? It's the Golden Meatball Awards banquet. Year's biggest wingding for Swedish chefs. <laughs> oh, yoy. I just know I'll go home with tonight's Swedish Chef of the Year award. Uh, hey, Woodpecker, how'd you like a free meal and a chance to make some easy money? Free food and easy money? You've come to the right bird. I need another seat filler for the award show. And when a guest leaves his table, it's your job to sit in his seat. That way, the place always looks full. Eat all you want. Just stay in your seat until the ticket holder gets back and you see his ticket. We get lots of moochers around here. Wow! My three favorite things. Being the center of attention, all the food I can eat, and sitting on my butt the whole night. We'll return with our first Golden Meatball Awards after these words from our sponsor. Ooh, dumplings. Wait, wait, wait. I must see if they are as tasty as mine. An empty seat. Go, 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 go! So, when do we eat? Oh, a seat filler. How tree goes. And now, back to our awards. Oh, boy. This little dumpling was stuffed with roast beef. Huh? Shh! What's the big idea? This is my seat. Oh, yeah? Where's your ticket? I seem to have lost it. Well, unless you seem to find it, this seat belongs to Woody Woodpecker, first class seat filler. But I'm Wally Walrus, the great Swedish chef, and I... Shh! Uh, yeah, sorry. Minor misunderstanding. <laughs> and the award for the best meatball in a side dish goes to Gunter Gustafsson. Bravo! Here, here! Let me go! That's my seat! By Yemeni, that's my seat! I demand you excise that woodpecker from my seat this instant, before I win Swedish Chef of the Year! Sure, just show me your ticket! I lost it! Wait! You can't do this to me! I pioneered the slow pot meatball! Oh! That woodpecker's goose is cooked now, for sure, you bet. And now, let's bring on our next presenter, the world-famous... Woody Woodpecker! Hey, that's me! And testing, this thing isn't on. Oh, hey, this is such an honor. Oh, you're too kind. Hey, how you doing? 
doing? Oh, please. Okay. More. The award for Swedish Chef of the Year goes to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't it an honor just to be nominated? Huh? Am I right? Huh? Am I? Yeah. All right, then, let's see. The winner is... Mr. Wally Walrus! Huh? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I would yes like to say... Get out of my seat! <laughs> my chair! I can't leave my chair! I'll feed us in my tushy little cushion. <laughs> <laughs> I got my award and my chair. I'm so happy, ya! Yeah. <laughs> wow, what a show! Action, drama, shtick! Listen, listen, listen to that applause! You gave the golden meatballs just what it needed. How'd you like to host next year's banquet? All the food you can eat! Woohoo! You got yourself a deal! <laughs> I knew him when he was just a seat filler, you know. Woody, Woody, Woody! <laughs> what do you think to me that nobody watches me? Why, cooking with Rufus Ledufus has always been a, how you say, hit show for this station. Uh, listen to this letter from Mr. Sheely Wheely. Dear Rufus, which is moi, please send me all your recipes, ingredients included. Ha! You can't buy a better review for a cooking show. You, you, what? What's the scoop, boss? What's the scoop? Wilbur, we have to liven up the show or the bus is going to fire me, you know. Well, like I've been saying, you gotta make more exotic like dishes, Rufus. Crap, Suzette! An idea has hit my fantastic brain. I got to make more exotic like dishes. <laughs> Get me this penguin. We're going to make gumbo! <laughs> Cooking with Rufus Redufus. I am your humble cooking servant, and today we're going to cook up the most exotic thing that you ever did see. Well, you're not my idea of exotic, but I guess you'll have to do. There you go. We're live in five. Hello there. Uh, welcome to my number one fan, which is you. I got your letter, and uh, welcome to the show, you see. You probably want a nice warm bath after your travels, yes? <laughs> there you go. Now everybody will be watching the show, no? Come on back here, you little critter! I am, uh, how you say, cooked in my own jeux. Get back, you little annoying one. I got a show to do. Boss, this ain't no jacuzzi show. We're on in five seconds. Then you better find the penguins in, no? No? Yes! Huh? Just get the penguin! <laughs> Uh, the water is uh, not quite ready, you see. Uh, so, instead, we're going to prepare a penguin uh, gumbo pie. Yeah, the uh, penguin uh, gumbo pie there uh, requires a delicate balance of spices and love. So, uh, walk with me to the spice rack, and we'll pick up some loving spices. What do you think? Uh, let me see now here. Uh, we're going to make these ingredients sing like crickets on a muggy Sunday. <laughs> Whatever that is. Google it, Dumbo. The penguin 
and gumbo pie just makes me so, how you say, exciting. <laughs> Why don't we take a little break to calm things down, and then we shall pie that penguin up real good, you know. You turned out the lights. Boss, boss! Do you have the penguin? Well, I could find a penguin, but I found an even better kind of exotic animal to live in a show up. What do you think? Uh, hiya, buddy. <laughs> you find some penguin! <laughs> yes, like I was saying, uh, you cannot serve such exotic delicacies as a penguin gumbo pie and penguin gumbo gumbo without the proper uh, table dressing. Uh, while my assistant puts the uh, finishing touches on the pie, I'll show you how to make your party proper with all the delicious trimmings. <laughs> Well, I tell you, nothing says the good life like doilies and the lazy Suzette, you know? <laughs> That's why Rufus always recommends... Oh, great googly gum there! And, uh, and that is to say, uh, sometimes you just got to throw caution to the wind and, uh, and you... Oh, and, uh, yes, I uh, will take a quick break here to clean up. And then it's penguin gumbo pie for all and... Good night. I'll be right back. <laughs> I have you now. <laughs> Boss, I think I found an even exotic animal than the last one. Could it perchance be the penguin? <laughs> I hate seafood. Wow, is that no good penguin? Boss, no, please. The show's back on in five seconds. Ah, don't care about the show, Wilbur. Now it is a show down. with Rufus Ledoufus. This is Wilbur. Oh, hello, sir. I, I can explain. You see... What? The switchboard is lit up like a Christmas tree for this? They love the penguin? Wilbur, you go get my recipe book and we shall find a new way to cook penguin, no? Wilbur, what are you doing? Release me, this is Dante. It's your show now, sir, which means I can't let anything bad happen to you. So... What's today's episode about, boss? Uh, welcome to Cooking with Chili. Today, we will be making crawdad gumbo. Yum. Oh, no, you don't. I am not an ingredient. I am a great chef. I shall return and saute you. You shall see. <laughs> Movie fans, Mr. Alias vs. Dirk Danger Spy Wars Part 42 opens in 300 days. I'm Ken Tinselton reporting to you live from the theater that will premiere this blockbuster in 10 months. Right where I'm standing will undoubtedly be a massive line of Spy Wars fans. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm now officially the first in line. <laughs> Folks, this is one true blue movie fan, to be sure. <laughs> this is gonna be fantastical. I'm gonna be the first customary in line. Oh, this can't be. I'm the number one fan of this particular movie franchise. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
282 days, 13 hours and 28 minutes, pal. This spot's mine. We'll flip for it. Tails, I win. I can make a big sale for you, bub. Be right back. Red Hots, get your free hot dogs here. All you can eat. How's about a dog? Just step out of line and up to beefy goodness. I'm a vegetarian. That'll be eight bucks. Hmm. Add this to the bill. <laughs> Dirk Danger, my hero. Symphonies, woodpecker. Ooh. One, please. Oh, why, thank you. Enjoy the show. What? End of the line, pal. No cuts. <sighs> 300 days. One ticket, please. Congratulations! You are the one millionth movie fan here to see Mr. Alias versus Dirt Danger. Yeah, so I was first. But now you've won this amazing spy kit. Plus, you get your choice of any seat in the house and movie tickets for life! Oh, boy! Uh, excuse me, but I want you to have this for all we've meant to each other. No hard feelings. Yeah, sure. Loser. 